Hey guys, welcome to Exquisite Eats TV. Today I'm going to show you how to make these dessert kebabs. Oh my God, they are so good and they're super easy to make. So why not make them today or tomorrow? So let's get started right now. So I'm going to use my all-purpose flour and just put it in a bowl. And then after I'm putting my granulated sugar all in there. And then I'm going to put my salt, my baking powder, and my cocoa powder. And then I'm going to whisk that up. Come on, whisk it all the way up. Just come on, get it well combined. You want that all good and nice. And then you want it to look like this. Just get it all together. And then now we're going to put our melted butter in there. And then we're going to put our eggs in there. You see? Get it all in there. And then we're going to mix that. Don't mix it too much, you guys. Like, mix it and get it in there, but don't get it too much, you know? You don't want it like, uh, Because we got to put something else in there, too, you know? So we're just going to get it like that. And then we're going to put our whole milk. I like whole milk in these because this is just a rich tasting, like, brownie. It's like a cake brownie, so it's nothing like chewy or anything but it's really good for these kebabs so we're gonna mix it until it's like cake batter and just mix it around just make sure it's no leftover flour or anything so just get it all together and make it look like this now you want to put anything extra in there i put semi-sweet chocolate chips in there and oh my god these are so good don't leave these out guys because they're so amazing i wish i had some nuts though so now i grease my pan and we're just gonna pour this batter in there Oh man, I'm telling you, I already just can't wait to eat it. I'm like sitting here like, oh my God. So make sure you get it all in there. Don't waste no batter. I mean, you guys, seriously, just get all that mixture in there. Oh God, it looks so good. So just pour it in there. Now we're going to get it all through the pan. Make sure your pan is greased because if it's not, you gonna have a problem washing dishes. Now look, we're gonna put this in the oven for about 18 to 20 minutes and get that all together. Now I got my pineapple. I'm about to cut the top off of it. Make sure you get the top off. You don't want to leave that on there, you know. So just cut it all the way off. Boom, we just got it off. So now we just gonna get our huge knife and cut it down the middle. And y'all cut it all the way, don't be like me. <laughs> now we just gonna cut out the middle of the pineapple, y'all. Just get it all the way out. This don't have to be perfect, just do it. Now, we're, we got our rectangles and we just gonna cut those up into cubes and oh my god look at how cute these are oh my god i love them and mind you don't make them too big don't make them too small because they are going on kebab like seriously Ooh, now we got our strawberries so what we're gonna do is we're just going to cut the back off and just literally get it all the way off all of them because we don't want that on there not today and i know you know what's so weird i heard that some people eat them that's so weird Okay, so I'm about to finish cutting these and we're about to check on the brownies. Oh my god, they're out the oven! Yes! Look at how good it looks! Oh my god! Okay, so now we're just going to cut it with our spatula and this is what I do. Literally just break it apart. It's not that serious. Don't even get a knife. Literally, now we're going to pull our strawberries out and our pineapples and you see my sticks. I just got them from the dollar store. It's not that serious. Just pick some cheap ones up because we're just going to put those on. So now we're going to get the strawberry out. Now, since we just got a strawberry out, what we're going to do is put it on the stick and we're going to put it... Um, just like that just straight through so it looks just like that i'm going to pull it all the way to the bottom and then after that i'm just going to put a pineapple on there and i'm just going to repeat that me method and, and look y'all it should look just like this nothing too special but look at how cute that is and look at how easy it was to make that so now look at all of these oh my god i didn't do the strawberry uh pineapple uh brownie thing over and over again what i did was i just did it different methods but look at how easy that was so let's just do something extra because you know i like being extra so what we're gonna do is just get some chocolate syrup and then get a fork and just get it all over there you see nah this is just extra see you know what now nah, i'm just gonna be fat and but i mean it's so good though seriously now look at that you know what have really threw this over the top like you know the edible glitter oh my god people would have went crazy like oh my god but look it looks so good and it's so easy to make so i hope you guys enjoyed this make sure you guys like comment share and subscribe okay bye